If you have seen the show, The Great Christmas Light Fight, or a musically coordinated Christmas light show in your area, you might be asking yourself, how does it all work? Hi, I'm David from LearnChristmasLighting.com, and in this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of how these lights work, and it's not quite as complicated as it may seem. In fact, you don't need to be an engineer or an IT professional to, to make this stuff work. So let's break it down, because it can seem a little bit complicated, but I assure you that um, there's no better time to get into this hobby and to do this if that's something you're interested in, or if you just want to learn how this stuff works, keep watching. It all starts at a computer. Sequencing software sets the lights to the shape of your house. You literally go in on the computer, draw out the lights over a picture of your house, and then you program them on a timeline to your music. So you, you watch the music and you listen to it and you line up the different effects to the beats and the music where you want things to change. From there, um, effects and videos are triggered and the show is generated. Now, the show is either played by the computer itself or via a series of small computers like a Raspberry Pi. Don't worry if you don't know what that is, but it's either going to be generated by that larger computer or a number of smaller computers that save your data on SD cards. Then, that information goes from the computer down a network to the controllers. Now, when we're working with musical Christmas lights, there's, there's three types of lights that you're going to see. There's traditional style Christmas lights, and these are your typical, you know, white or maybe a colored strand of light that you can turn on and off and perhaps dim. There's RGB Christmas lights, where the whole strand is able to change color between red, green, and blue and, and mix colors together. And then there are also pixels. And pixels are what we're going to focus a lot on because they're the most versatile and also very popular. Pixels allow you to change each and every bulb on the strand of lights separately. So you can make any color you want on any bulb at any time, run video and other cool effects on top of it, and make a really exciting Christmas light show. Now, because there's three types of lights, there's also three types of controllers. Relays turn on whole strands of lights. These are the traditional style Christmas lights. Decoders change the colors on entire strands of lights for RGB Christmas lights. And pixel controllers, where we're going to focus our attention, translate information from the computer to a format that the smart pixel lights can understand. And this allows each individual light to change on its own. So, as I mentioned, the information comes from the computer to the controller, and then at that point, the information goes from the controller to the lights, or um, in this case, the pixels, as we're going to focus on. And as we get to the pixels, we're also going to add in power. And once we add in that power, the light is able to light up, the pixels are able to change with the music, and whatever other information you're sending via the sequencing software and just like that you have a musical christmas light show the great news about this it might seem complicated and i know i've simplified things a lot in this video but doing this type of show has never been more within reach of the average person technology wise or cost wise and that's one thing that i'm really excited to bring to you here with learn christmas lighting so if you want to learn more, subscribe here on YouTube and also visit us at LearnChristmasLighting.com. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.